I know that Anzac Day is coming up and it's going to be a very different Anzac Day for people. And I really want to thank uh, the public for their understanding during this time. There will be a wreath laying uh, commemorative service that will be undertaken at 4.28am on Saturday. It will be attended by a very small group. Uh, the Governor will be in attendance. Uh, the Lord Mayor, uh, Adrian Schrinner, will be in attendance. Uh, Tony Ferris will be in attendance as President of the RSL and I'll be in attendance as uh, Premier of Queensland. Uh, this uh, commemorative service will be on behalf of the people of Queensland. Uh, we will be uh, laying a wreath individually, there will be the national anthems and there will be a pool camera and the last post. So I hope everyone uh, is understanding but we did want to make sure that there was a commemorative um, process for Anzac Day, um, a very small um, but symbolic gesture that uh, the people of Queensland are recognising uh, the fallen. So I really want to thank the RSL and I want to thank Dr Young for giving this exemption for uh, four people to attend this, but of course uh, practising social distancing and laying a wreath uh, individually. I would just like to encourage Queenslanders this Anzac Day, the 25th of April, to step out onto their driveways, their verandas or their porches at 6am in the morning and commemorate those that have gone and served this country, those that are currently serving this country and those that have come home with their injuries and are still suffering with those injuries. This will be a very different year for us this year, but I see it as being a very symbolic year because I think this will encapsulate every Australian and get every Australian involved in an Anzac Day dawn service, something we probably haven't seen for a very, very long time. It's my belief that we need to do this. Step out, socially isolate and remember those Anzacs.